I wore this hundred dollar bill dress because I feel like Bree is about her business. Okay. <laughs> Yes, darling. Bria's about her business, okay? Now, she doesn't have a business, but she's been handling business. If you know what I mean, she has mystery boxes. She has acrylics that she has been selling. And I ordered the Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. And she gifted me the fall collection. Y'all want to open this up? I was just like, mm, like, I was so excited. I was so happy. I was honored. I'm like, oh, my God, like... I was expecting, you know, just the Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. And then she said she threw, like, a few goodies in there to kind of help us all create our sets. So when she put this in there, I was like, oh, my God, like, no way. Like, no way, bro. So I thank you so, so much, Brie. This collection is beautiful. I enjoy, like, I enjoy swatching these. You will be able to see the swatches in this video. I just haven't created a set yet, but I will soon. My video is lagging again, so... <laughs> I'm gonna try to go along and talk from what I can from what I can see or what I can remember is next in the video. Breeze packaging and everything, these cute little emojis on these stickers, like everything, every freaking detail is amazing. It's thought of, and you can tell she actually put work and thought into creating everything about her brand. And I love it. It is beautiful. She did an amazing job with everything. The box colors, the stickers, like the way she packaged her items, like everything was just perfect. This was the thank you card that she left in her box. Like, everything was just amazing. I'm telling you, everything was amazing. Thank you, Brie, for everything. <laughs> and you'll be able to see all of the names for each of the acrylics. As you can see, everything has something to do with Breast Cancer Awareness Month or terms in general for breast cancer. So that was, like, super, super, super perfect for this collection. And I'm so happy she decided to come out with this collection because one thing that she did mention is a lot of us do not do breast cancer awareness sets during this month we both we be focused on halloween sets and the fact that she not only decided to create sets with this and have a collaboration because there are other people in a collaboration that i will mention she decided to actually create her own acrylic collection for the specific month and i had to make sure i got it and i will let you guys know the reason why soon and it's just all the colors are perfect the names are perfect and I'm so happy she did this because I was like, I wasn't able to get in her other collections. But this right here, I knew I was getting it from the moment she mentioned it. Those were the extra items that Brie gifted everyone who purchased this collection. And I will be using everything that she sent over. And I'm going back to like make sure like my voiceover makes sense. So I'm like pausing and going back and listening, re recording, pausing, go back, listening, re recording. And you guys might be able to hear the rain in the background. I'm so sorry if you do. It's, it's rain if you hear any type of extra noise or one of the little chickadees coming back and forth. But this collection, I'm so happy I was able to swatch this collection with my old uh, monomer because everything applies. I'm not good with swatches, but these acrylics apply so smooth. It blended well together. The little application on the swatch stick was, was great because, like I said, I don't know how to swatch. So the fact that these acrylics were just like melting into each other pretty much like i loved it it was the fall collection this is the fall collection that i'm swatching right now these colors were beautiful they are super fall i cannot wait to create a set with them it would not be i mean i do a fall set in honor of brie because she don't do halloween but i will be definitely do using these for like halloween and some of these colors for christmas just as well but these are complete like fall colors and she does have a glitter in there i'm not for sure if i'm at that part yet but the glitter has like everything in there though. It has like snowflakes, it has the Christmas trees, it has leaves, like it has all like the holidays mixed in one. That way you can use the acrylics all year round. It's something that she did mention when she did let us know that she had the fall collection coming out that she wanted to have all of the um, holidays kind of like mixed in one. That way you don't have to be like, oh, I gotta go buy some more glitter for this holiday. I gotta buy glitter for this holiday. No, you can use the same glitter. Just go in there and take the snowflakes out the christmas trees i'll take the leaves out whatever you need to take out take it out or you could just leave it all in there that was the option that she was giving us and that's something that i did love about that collection also you're going to see one of the acrylics is named 10 13 85 i know that october is breast cancer awareness month but that specific day is breast cancer awareness day so on that day make sure you wear pink 
celebrate, pray, support anyone who has gone through breast cancer, who is going through it, who survived it, who didn't win their battle, who whatever the case may be, that specific day, make sure you guys honor everyone in your life, every woman in your life, appreciate them and love on them and do any and everything that you possibly can on that day because you just you just never know. You really never, never, never know. And so that day right there, I did have to look it up because when I did see it, I was like, I wonder what exactly what this day mean because you didn't, I personally didn't know it was a specific day, to be completely honest with you. I did not know it was a specific day at all. So to see that, she kind of brought awareness to me that there is a day to be actually specifically honor those women and the few men who has or had battled with breast cancer. This is the whole collection. I don't know where that last clip went, but those colors are beautiful. I love all of them. Now, Pretty in Pink did marble. I did actually shake it up and stir it up and then do it again. And that's the only one that did marble. I did think she, I do think she mentioned before that one of the pinks marble. I don't know if it's from this collection or a different one. But stuff that marbles, it kind of don't make me no difference because most of my nail sets, I'm going to do a marble. So it's best to kind of just work with one acrylic or two instead of like three or four. So I, you will see me use it in this set right here. So... One thing, I'm not going to do too much talking because this video is lagging, but one thing I did want to let you guys know that one of my nail sets, one of my nail sets, one of my fingers is going to have angel wings and the name D. D stands for Denise, and Denise is my, uh, well, was my stepmom. She was married to my uh, dad for a couple of years, and she found out that she had breast cancer before they got married, and so... The time that I spent with her, I feel like I cherished it, but I don't think I cherished it enough. And so one of my other fingers, you will see flowers. I tried to do flowers on my thumb and my uh, middle finger. It didn't work out because I don't feel like I gave her her flowers the way I should have when she was here on, on um, oh, I'm not going to cry, when she was here on earth. So I feel like now um, this is my, this is my way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? So I do have the angel wings for her because she did pass away. It was hard seeing her because it was just like she was like slowly, slowly like, for lack of a better word, you could just see the, the life just, the joy that she had, the smile that she had, like it was all leaving. Like, Jesus. So it was just, it was hard. It was hard. It was hard. It was hard losing her. And uh, this is like my third, this is like my third place over <laughs> But uh it was hard losing her and that she was an amazing woman. She had a great smile. She was a mom. She was a grandma, a wife. So she was just, she was just overall amazing. And I try to cherish her as much as I can. I try to celebrate her, especially in October, as much as I can. My husband always buy me breast cancer awareness things that they sell in the store. Don't be a lot, but whatever he does see, he does get it from me because he knows how much I love and cherish her. And, um, I miss her and I love her. So it was just this time of the year, I think about her more than I normally do just because she's the only woman I've ever known to have um, had breast cancer and passed away from it. So she did get um, cremated. And the only sucky part is the fact that, you know, her son was in jail and it, they didn't like, they let him come see her, like her ashes, but they didn't like actually let the rest of the family be able to, um, you know, see them and mourn with them and everybody just to be able to like, you know, be there for one another, love on each other. Like he wasn't able to be a part of that. So that was like the sucky part about everything. But overall, her, her memory is going to always be in every, in everybody's heart. Cause she was just the life of the party without trying to be the life of the party. But she is truly missed. And so you will see a nail set. You will see a finger that has the angel wings. And you will see D, which stands for Denise, on there. And um, like I said, the flowers represent the flowers that I should have gave her when she was here. And the flowers that should have been, that should be taken to her if she, you know, had a, a, a grace, you know. So that's what I was trying to do. Two fingers with flowers out. And I'm just doing one. And this nail set is in honor of her. And anyone that's battling it, anyone that has survived it and won their battle, I commend all of you. You guys are some of the strongest people on this earth. But I, I am going to stop talking and I'm going to just let some music play for the rest of the video. 
there is um that I'm aware of three other women who are going to be part of this collaboration. Brie offered it to be for everyone, no matter if you bought her collection or not. And the people that I know for a fact is going to be part of this collection is, of course, Brie, because she's hosting it. Ashley P, a.k.a. Parker's Pretty Paws. Christ Christina Nail Designs. And I'm going to post up um, everybody's name on here. Then also you're going to see a charm that's in the middle of the flower that I created. And that was gifted to me with um, with a giveaway that I won from Sandra Sparkly Sets. So I want to thank thank you again, Brie, for doing this collaboration, for coming out with this collection. I know for a fact all of you ladies have done amazing sets. Thank you, Sandra, because this charm came in the perfect time. And I was able to incorporate this in this set. And I thank all of you guys for being here with me today. Thank you for watching this video to this part. If you made it to, if you made it this far, um, you know, like some pink hearts in the comment section down below for everyone, every woman in this world and every man who has possibly suffered from breast cancer and everyone that has survived it. Anyone that's going through it, anyone who is now watching over us, please leave pink hearts in the comment section down below for all of those people. And um, I, I thank you guys. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, Zolan.
like what you saw in today's video. Hit that subscribe button, that like button. Comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, darling.